Hello and welcome to our special program on how to get ahead with automation, a practical guide for telecom operators. I'm Guy Daniels. Now, telcos are having to introduce ever increasing levels of automation, simplification and industrialization into their network operations. And this extends from planning and building all the way through to operating. Rakuten, Symphony, Intel and Supermicro have collaborated to address these issues. And over the next 60 minutes, we will find out how they are reducing supply side SKUs, removing the need for manual intervention and introducing workflow digitalization. We will also be answering some of your questions on automation. If you haven't already submitted one, you can still do so, and any we don't answer during the show will be forwarded to our guests once we finish. Plus, we have a poll question for you, but more on that later in the programme. OK, time to meet our guests, and I'm delighted to say that joining me today are... Jeff Hollingworth, who is Chief Marketing Officer for Rakuten Symphony. Caroline Chan, VP of the Network and Edge Group for Intel. And Maury Lin, VP of IoT Embedded and Edge Computing at Supermicro. Hello, everyone. It's good to see you all. Well, first of all, how did this collaboration come about? What was the opportunity that all three companies recognised that started this process. Jeff, let's hear from you first. Yeah, thank you, Guy. Uh, as people know, the Rakuten journey started in 2018 and the approach taken, which was completely cloud, native, open RAN uh, and uh, automated, it was, it was known that that builds on the capabilities and uh, inventions of other companies to a much greater extent than how you build traditional networks. Uh, so immediately in 2018, we, we really built a coalition of the willing. Uh, and uh, your other two guests here, uh, Caroline and Maury, were obviously and are foundational members of what we have done in Japan and now what we're taking around the world. Yeah, thanks very much, Jeff. Well, let's, uh, let, let's, let's hear from our other two guests. Um, Maury first, you know, what, what, what started this out? Jess was, was talking there about uh, what you were doing together in Japan. Yeah, thank you, Guy. Uh, I think, uh, first of all, this is all story beginning uh, when OpenRAN has a chance uh, for the uh, hardware to uh, invest into this segment. And Supermicro uh, got this chance to present to Rakuten how we can use x86 platforms uh, to support the open RAN, this kind of concept. And then during this journey, we have a lot of uh, uh, experience shared by the Rakuten and from Intel to how to optimize our off the show uh, services and also hardware to make it friendly to the development. And this is make a very unique segment because we are able to bring the data center technology and extend the telco business and also redesign the system to make it very reliable for all the applications and the field right now. And starting from the journey in Japan, we also have a lot of chance with uh, Rakuten Symphony to the world. And I think the last sessions, we will talk about that more in detail. Thanks. Yes, I hope I hope we will indeed. Uh, and uh, Caroline, what uh, what about Intel? How did Intel get involved? So Intel has been in this journey the last uh, 14, 15 years, really running, you know, be part of the ecosystem, transforming the network from a purposely built into a much more desegregated, virtualized, containerized, more cloud like like Maury was talking about, taking a playbook from what the cloud. Uh, hyperscalers has been rolling out and look at what the enterprise uh, world looks like as well. So what we quickly realized is that the automation becoming a huge part of it because you are joining different parts of the uh, ecosystem together because your hardware is disaggregated because we have to run the flexibility. Think of uh, if I look at 5G network, 
And yes, EMBB is certainly connect many of the IoT devices together. It needs to run, serve different uh, enterprises. So the automation, the digitization of this whole process becomes such important. We are very grateful to be able to work with uh, industry leading companies like Supermicro, right, Rocket and Symphony to uh, get this journey, uh, be part of this journey. Great. Thanks, Caroline. Thanks, everyone, for, for that. So that's how the collaboration came about. I'd like to ask each of you now, you know, when you go and talk with operators, when you have your meetings with them, what are you seeing from an operations perspective? Jeff, do you want to take this first? Yeah, thanks, Guy. I mean, I think the first thing that we have to embrace in existing operators, existing operations, is just the sheer complexity, scale, and history of those operations. And all of the people uh, working inside those domains uh, are, are working at full capacity. So the challenge uh, foundationally with automation, everybody knows that it's something that you need to do, but how can you actually do it while you're still doing your day job? And, and I think, we should also recognize that automation is not something new to the industry. Uh, it, it is something that we have been doing for 10 plus years, but we've tended to do it in a very localized and domain centric way. And now I think what we're starting to introduce uh, in this journey is actual automation at the end to end system level. And that's where you get the promise of, of true transformation and and ultimately autonomy uh, if you've gone down the full journey. Oh, that's interesting. Thanks very much, Jeff. Uh, Caroline, you know, when you have your meetings with, with uh, your customers, you know, what, what are you seeing on with regards to automation from an operations view? It is almost a must have. Um, I had the fortune to serve on the board of Telecom Infrastructure Project TIP, where we have uh, majority of the uh, European operators uh, on the board. And we this is the one thing that constantly we're hearing is the need to uh, automate the, the operation flow. With the old days of doing things, like Jeff is describing, it's a longer uh, valid, it, it no longer makes sense, given, you know, used to be a network coming from a, a few uh, uh, the manufacturers, it's now coming from many more. And plus all the complexities of adding a new software into the system. It's a whole, what's happening in the in enterprise in the cloud needs to happen. So that demand is here and it's not going away. And especially when we're going to looking at 5G beyond 5G advance and going into the enterprise world, I, I think that the momentum that we're building, the demand that's out there will only increase and not, not decrease at all. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Caroline. And, and Maury, what are you seeing? What's your view on this? Yeah, I think um, we are more uh, in the positions, the understanding, not just from the operators. I think at the very beginning, we uh, carefully uh, listened to the Rakuten, uh, the problems they described. And operators for sure have the pressure to lower the total cost ownership. And also they are planning to do more virtualized services and to make this stable and reliable automation is one of the key process to keep the quality of the service to the end user, including the network as well. To reach this level, um, there are lots of challenge will come after this, especially you want to use a very flexible um, hardware. And we would like to uh, use this chance to, to share the, some uh, observation we have from the operators. Uh, they definitely have a different kind of a uh, which we call the greenfield and brownfield situations. And they are not all the same, but they have one goal to reach is to make sure their network will be flexible and quickly deployed to the area they target at a higher speed and lower latency. In order to make this possible, we have a different way to support. And some of the support required coming into live networks in the brownfield. And there are lots of the tunable softwares efforts from Rakuten Symphony. And we have to uh, also respond to the expectation to make sure uh, this, uh, how we will be able to run on that requirement. At the green fields, the different totals that Rakuten Symphony can play whole strategies for all the infrastructures. In that level, we also are very, uh, very lucky in the positions to learn how to uh, fine tuning as well. Tuning not just on the hardware, only also the software collaboration together. And this make uh, the total solutions, including the Intel technology, 
become a very uh, suitable and adoptions into this uh, network. And I think the operators uh, definitely want to see the three parties working together how to reach these two goals, lower the total cost ownership, and make virtualization service able to the target area.